Hey guys, I have some information for you guys on about the Cuts Compensator, finally. Um, if you guys are following the link from my old video, thank you so much for doing that. I wanted to apologize about that video, actually. Um, that video was not really very informational for you guys. It was something I was using to try and get a basis for how many people are viewing about the Cuts Compensator. And because I didn't know anything about it. I like to do videos about things that also help me learn about the things I'm passionate about as much as I can help you guys learn. So um, the Cuts Compensator is a huge thing for me because if you are not coming from the video that I just posted, you guys don't know why I'm even doing this research. First off, I can't find anything about it anywhere. I can't find this information. And Well, the reason I can't find it is this. Um, this is a Browning A5. I'll lift it up here in a minute. And this is the broken end of a Cuts Compensator, where it used to sit on my on my shotgun. It's a beautiful gun, Browning A5. I believe it's a 1970 model. I believe so, 1971. We're not positive about that, but um, that's that's the, the guess. Um, and I want to know what's wrong with it. Why did it blow off? I can't find any information about that happening before until recently. So guys, I will apologize. I will be looking off screen a little bit. I have some written stuff here, and I have some computer stuff here I'm going to be reading off of because I will be quote, quoting a little bit. And uh, I will leave all URLs of the information I have in the description so you guys can come and fact check and look at everything I'm reading. And you guys can see that I'm not, you know, finding this out of nowhere. It, this information does exist, and it took me a long time to find it. So um, I hope you guys really do learn something and enjoy this because I'm, I was so happy to find out this kind of information. So I'm just I just want to quickly talk about Richard M. Cutts, Colonel Richard M. Cutts, really quickly, just, um, just as a soldier... He was, um, I'm just going to, a few key points. So you guys know how he lived, where he lived in history, kind of. So um, he was born in 1878. He is an American. He fought in the Spanish-American War in 1903. That was his kind of claim to fame, but he's been all over. Um, so he made Colonel 1922, which was a humongous um, help for him in his career. That was a huge achievement. Um, like I said, very successful soldier, and he was a, he patented the compensator, the Cuts compensator, in 1930, and then he died in 1934 while he was... Um, he was retired from, from the military. So that's just some quick, you know, there's plenty of more information on him about his past. And if you guys are interested, like, where I got this information will be in the, in the description. So um, what the Cuts Compensator is, and this isn't something that I really had a bunch of questions on. I knew it was a muzzle brake as well as a choke doom. And that's what its function is. You know, it was an early, developmented, early developed choke tube or muzzle brake. It acted as both, if it was on a shotgun. It's not much of a choke tube if it was on, like, an A, you know, an A1 or something like that, which they were commonly on. Uh, another name for an A1, like the, the Mafia guns. You guys know the Tommy guns? That was an A1. Um, absolutely devastating in World War II. They used them ecstatically then. So um, they were on those firearms, as, as well as Winchester Model 12s. They were on those shotguns. They were on um, Remington 1188s, I believe. They were on those, too. Very famous shotguns, if you guys are familiar with your um, history of your famous firearms. But um, let's see here. So what happened to my gun is I'm shooting skeet probably a couple, oh, six months ago or so, and the, it just blows off of my gun. And I'm confused and worried, and I'm, you know, no one was hurt, thank, thankfully. But I wanted to know what happened. So I did find out that these things are actually soldered onto the barrel. This barrel in its, its entirety is one thing. The cuts, soldered, barrel, and then it connects into your receiver here. You know how that works, guys. It is one unit. It is not screwed in. It is not popped in. It is soldered to it. So that's a problem for removing it, or if it breaks off, obviously. So um, that's kind of what happened there. And um, why does this happen? You know, I've never seen anyone document this before. Um, I wonder if part of it was just it got hit and no one realized it just minutely moved it, and, you know, that shot comes out at 1300 feet per second it's fast you know it's very fast so it can definitely do some damage but that's not what i found here i'm on google patents and everything like i should i shouldn't say everything i don't know actually a lot of information is moved whether it was electronically made and then moved or written down and then copied there's a lot of patents in google patents and i was able to actually find the original patent written in 1930 about the cuts compensator and I'm going to quickly quote this right now, and again, all this stuff will be in the description. You guys can come find this, see where I found it from. I'm going to quickly quote this. And I don't know if it was a computing error, or they just wanted to quote exactly what he wrote, and maybe it was on a typewriter, so it was poorly written. But there are some typos, and I'm going to just 
say it how I read it just because it's a quote. So I'm going to say it exactly how it's, how it's written on here. It has been found by analysis and research that the vibrations of a gun barrel will cause the bullet to depart from the axial direction V established by the bore when the gun is lat rest. The two most important of these vibrations are the fundamental and first overtone, which will cause the barrel to actually actually bent in an undetermined direction at the time of the emission of the bullet, and which usually work in algebraic combination, causing what is known as the bend error. So the bend error is literally causing the vibrations of this of this thing. It's right. It's a piece of steel soldered to another piece of steel that causes uneven wearing and vibrations. So what it's doing, guys, is it's microscopically moving. So if it's already been bent, or even if it didn't bend it physically, it moves when you shoot. So my theory here, guys, is, and this is an open theory for debate, it is, this is not saying, it never once states that your gun might blow up. It, did never, it never said that. So I'm not quoting here. I am personally believing that because of the bend effect, or possibly a combination of the bend effect and miscare in the past for this firearm... The shot made contact with the actual cuts compensator, and that disrupted it, and that ripped it straight off. And that would... Because the cuts didn't explode. I couldn't find it back in the grass. And in fact, I wasn't really looking for it very hard, but I couldn't find it back. But as you can see here, it's not gone. It's just... It's torn. You can see how it's, like, circularly torn. It probably took an angle and ripped itself off. And I couldn't find it back, and it's long gone by now. I should have looked for it earlier, but it's gone now. And, um... That is a shame, but that is my theory on this. Um, I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed this. I hope I've made some sense. I hope I brought some light to this subject, because it was an issue for me. And the fact that I can't find any information on it might mean that no one really cares about them. You know, I hope that's not the case. But um, and I know it's not a very long video, and I don't do very much action in this. But it did take some time, guys. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I did do a lot of research on this. And I'm gonna post it all on the description again. You guys can check that. So um. Please comment if you guys have anything to say. Um, I really, it, that's what I'm doing this for. I mean, I did this information myself. I understand the information now. But if you guys have any intake on it, I want to know from you guys, people who own guns, who have guns with compensators on them, your your input. I really, that's what I'm looking for here. So um, the likes and subs really aren't that important to me, guys. It'd be cool, but I'm not going to sit here and ask you guys for them. But I want comments. That would be wonderful. Um, so thanks so much, guys. I hope this was informational. Uh, the A5, to shame, great, wonderful gun. If you have one, take good care of it and be careful of the bend error or the bend effect. Thank you, guys.